I'm upset because I've been like blowing just good bits all day <laughs> to myself in the house. Yeah. And <laughs> the green penis is pretty good. That's good. I mean, <laughs> if you're just joining us now, the, uh, we're coming hot <laughs> off a black guy that has headphones held up to his penis. <laughs> yeah. And he plays classical music to his dad. Because he's trying to get pussy from a smart you know, We're trying to get an intellectual time. <laughs> and you're going, yeah, it sounds crazy, but it works, man. I'm going to tell you, I've been fucking this big bitch. <laughs> she needs his defensive driving. Yeah, she's a she's professor. A professor. She's, a prof- she's a professor. <laughs> professor. Professor of domestic driving. <laughs> That's why he plays classical music into his balls yeah. to fuck a professor of domestic driving. She's a prof- she's a professor. Defensive, Defensive driving. Yeah. yeah. Um, that you know, and we got there was a whole thing about FDR. Oh yeah. Instead of them hiding his polio, he's actually uh, he actually has just big, just a big old bazongas, huge yeah. pair of tits. <laughs> tits. So he's always just behind a podium that's uh-huh. up real high. Because they can't. Have- and he's like, "Today is a day that will live in infamy." <laughs> he's Barack Obama. We also. have nothing to fear but fear itself. We have um, nothing to fear but getting pussy because mm-hmm. we're gay. Just him in that carriage in Central Park, but he's got a big blanket. Over him. <laughs> like, oh, I guess he was cold. He was cold a lot of the time. And like, yeah, the Secret Service had to hide FDR's big tits. His big pair of tits that was His actually juicy ass titties. They were a secret from Dude. the world. Dude, that would be awesome if he had awesome tits. And he was getting them sucked by his mistresses. Mm-hmm. Well, it was his secret shame. He had he had like massive just massive guy how 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 massive h h cups <laughs> <laughs> oh not even like a nice double d no. freak size yeah okay it's cool that they went with the alphabet with titty sizes mm-hmm. uh-huh. because you know they could just do like small medium large for the oh, most yes. part but when Extra they came up large. with them somebody was like yeah, we're going to need 26 sizes. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, but breasts only go up to like you know, five of the sizes. Yeah. And the guy was like, I choose to dream. I choose yeah. to hope mm-hmm. that, one that one day we day, might say Z We titties. might see the biggest, fattest Dude, fucking titties we might we've see, ever seen. Look, boys, it's 1890. Mm-hmm. And we don't look. We're, we're we just, haven't started putting chemicals in our meat yet. In our milk. we just invented cesarean sections to keep the pussy fresh. We got no idea <laughs> which direction. I'm about like just a show like the Nick, but it's about guys inventing cosmetic surgery, mm-hmm. and it's uh-huh. just Clive Owen being like, as you can see, this woman's breasts are too small. Mm-hmm. She's disgusting. A new a new method invented by me while high on opium last night <laughs> is filling the titties with milk and from a cow. <laughs> <laughs> As we all know, the titties are created <laughs> by milk from a baby. A babe, you come into a woman, and then the cum is turned into milk. It's turned into milk. <laughs> by, by our latest research, says that breast milk is the product <laughs> of cum... Which is the same as milk uh-huh. going into the titties. <laughs> and now we're going to cut her. We will bo- cut the middleman oh, out and yeah. put the milk directly in her breasts. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just Everyone's him, applauding. Oh, yeah. wow. Just By him God, he's done it. slicing a woman's like, nipple off and then putting a hose <laughs> into a cow. <laughs> Time of death, 8.15. <laughs> and they just wheel the woman out. Does anyone want to volunteer mm-hmm. their wives? And mm-hmm. just everyone's hands shoots up. And then it's just him just raw dogging like a Chinese whore <laughs> yeah. fucked up while, <laughs> while, while, uh, he's like with that weird techno music plays. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have techno music in the Nick? Yeah. Yeah. That show rocks. I've never seen it. It's really it. cool. They, I thought they were going to bring it back for a third season. Yeah. But they, he, sh- they shot it all in bed style. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like, that's for white people. That's, he, they're, that's our Spike that's Lee. That's us. Mm, yeah. You know, that's yeah. our do the right thing. That's yes. our history. Is the Nick. I see. Yeah. You know, sure. there's actually a scene where uh, in part of the show, it's about a black guy that tries to move into the neighborhood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're and they're like, like, fire, fire, gentrify. Yeah. Because right? <laughs> he's trying to gentrify the they're hospital. They're saying that, that it's violence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They're like, this is literally. He's trying a- to start serving beef patties and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And they're like, you can do surgery on black people uh-huh. in the basement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now up, to- up top is for f- finding out how to get big titties yeah. to women. Right. It's it, cool. it, That character, it does start like sort of like an underground urban style of surgery. Yeah, yeah, a more New York kind of yeah gritty hip hop style. Mm-hmm. That's well, awesome. before hip hop, yeah, well, a lot of people don't know that, but Clive Owen's character in the Knicks started hip hop. Yeah, well, yeah, 
he was rapping a lot. It's true. Uh, the black, the black doctor. I forget his name. It's like Antoine, Doctor Boombastic, Ant- Antoine Le, Le <laughs> Chevrolet, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Doctor Africa Bombata. You know he's a pedophile. What? Yeah, Africa Bombata. He was fucking kids. The inventor of hip hop. Wow. Yeah. So at its very core, hip hop is about. That's the sixth, the sixth pillar. Six pillars, pedophilia. Yeah, the mm-hmm. fifth is realness. The sixth is uh, getting it in with a kid. Mm-hmm. That's pretty not chill, if you ask me. That that's probably the only that pillar stuff. that is also related to Islam, right? <laughs> yes, all the others. There is just, overlap. Between all the, the other was sort of, of Islam. weird, just cultural appropriation. But that one, that's the pillar they kept. That's no, the pillar. Islam yep. also does have b boying as well. Mm-hmm. Do, do they? Yeah, oh, they yeah. have a break dancing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's where. That's where the whirling dervishes. That's, that's what. If from. the prophet can't be drawn, but if he was, he would be doing. He would be hidden. He'd be spitting on his head. Yeah, he'd be. He'd be hitting breaks. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> you guys saw the video of Kanye crying. Pretty funny. I didn't. No. I. I, I like just Kanye. Ignore Kanye now. Dude, I like sucks. Kanye, and I think. I like he him has too. a beautiful soul. Yeah. yeah, and people can't really handle. I mean, it's like it's not. He doesn't really. You have to. It's Kanye is an abstraction, and you have to appreciate him the same way you appreciate Donald Trump or Adolf Hitler, <laughs> <laughs> which is that. <laughs> It's not, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, they're Buddhas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to vote for Hitler, the Buddha but was you can re- still appreciate it. Yeah. The Dalai Lama is, I, I consider myself sort of a trad Buddha, where I feel that <laughs> yeah. the Dalai Lama was reincarnated into Hitler <laughs> yeah, in the I 1930s, see. and we've had yeah. basically a fake Dalai Lama. So where did the hit, where did the guy that was in Hitler go? Kanye West. Kanye. Kanye. Split yeah. dude, double duty between Kanye West and Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Uh, With a little touch of Seagal. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I see, I see. I mean, the <laughs> fact that the Dalai Lama is like, yeah, Steven Seagal's a pretty good guy is evidence that Hitler was the actual. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I see no other explanation. Mm-hmm. Didn't the Dalai Lama say some shit about women got to be hot yeah. or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They gotta keep there, the pussy tight. It could be a Dalai, a female Dalai Lama, but it has to be a hot chick. But the fucking it can't be an those, ch- those, those that yeah. ass has to be fucking on dump truck. I'm gonna start a type of like a Zen offshoot that's just for um, autistic people. Uh huh. And then so wait, the you... leader is called the Trolley Lama, <laughs> <laughs> and it's about I love it. You know. Yeah. Something. Honestly, I think it's, it's not I, something. I, I don't those, know what it's about, but it's the about trolley some, llama's good. A bunch of yeah. cultures, a bunch of guys with bowl cuts wearing that outfit yeah. looking at trains. Mm-hmm. I think we've done it. We don't have to do anything any further. Yeah. No further questions, Your Honor. Do, do you think that means the Dalai Lama thinks he's hot? Oh yeah, he knows. If he thinks he, if he thinks he knows he's the sexy. bitch version of the Dalai Lama has to be fucking has to have big ass teeth and full lips and whatnot. You think he thinks he can get pussy if he wanted to, but he can't? Well, if can the Dalai like, Lama get pussy? I think so, but they just choose not to. Yeah. Well, that's ultimate power. Yeah. I think the whole point is. Well, I don't actually know. I don't. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't know anything about the fucking Dalai Lama. I've seen Kundun in Seven Years in Tibet. And it would it. be funny if he was getting Kundun, so much I pussy. Liked it. Yeah. Oh are, yeah. Are we, to, are we allowed to say Kundun? Uh, yeah. If Marty says it's cool, it's cool. Damn, there should be mo- more movies that sneak racial slurs into the title <laughs> under the auspices of foreign words. Uh-huh. Is that a slur? It sounds yes. like it could be. Jared, say it and I'll stop you. Kundun? Stop. No, try again. Kundun. Stop. Okay. No, try it again. <laughs> Kundun? Do it, slow it down. Kundun. Stop. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it's a U, isn't it? Isn't it K-U-N? Doesn't matter. Say it again real slow. No. There you go. No, I'm not. That's how you know. <laughs> you but I will say, say a regular Kundun. Yeah. Well, we're gonna need somebody <laughs> out in the out in the world out there to cut that down, <laughs> chop it, and screw it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of See, I'm so down. innocent. My my brain is so non racist as opposed to you uh-huh. two. Did you get it this from even... your website? No, I actually got this at a army supply store in Queens. Oh, okay. Because the website was taking too long. Mm-hmm. Stop. So, you want to tell the world about your website? I got a, I I found a website that sells bucket hats for the extra large headed man. <laughs> for, or I should say person. I guess some women might have big ass heads. Oh yeah. But this this yeah. hat is a size Retarded eight. Women. 
<laughs> Size eight bucket hat. Retarded women usually have bigger heads. Do they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because brains work the opposite for women. Oh, interesting. That's true. <laughs> oh, for just for women? Yeah. The bigger for, they are, the more retarded. Yeah, mm. phrenology is actually wrong. Yeah. Mm. The smaller the brain, the, the smarter the <clears throat> Yeah, spiders like, are the smartest. It's like a solid animal. state drive yeah. as opposed to a regular hard drive. Spiders yes. are actually incredibly intelligent. So think about it. Could you ever make a web? I could easily. No. I could right now if no, I wanted you to. I just don't feel like it. No, you don't know how. I would get some string, and I would spray glue on it, mm-hmm. and I would do little, nice little patterns. Spider-Man can't even make a web. He can just spray it. He could he, if he wanted to. No, he doesn't even know. He's a half He man, has done a lot. Half man, half spider, and he can't even build a web. First of all, he's not web, half man, half spider. The he's web is not a spider. The web is not like a skill of his. It's It's like a thing that he built right it's like a i think in some versions it is in some versions it's not he he remember. has to like reload his web <clears throat> thing i don't remember i think in the cartoon one of them is different from the cartoon i don't have the spider-man knowledge i used to i think regular spider-man has the cartridges and the amazing spider-man mm. that's what makes him amazing mm, yeah again this is a kundun situation <laughs> yeah it's we're a classic all I've, we're kundun. all i've seen is spider-man one and two wait have you you, you never watched the cartoon the um, Black Spider Man, I love that. No, no, no. I, I that just one remember rocks the cock. Spider, I mean, the one Spider Verse, the one at the after school one. No, uh, the only thing yeah, I remember right. is the Toby, um, uh, um, uh, Keith. Yeah, Toby. Yeah, when Keith he goes movie. emo. <laughs> um, Spider Man Two. When where he Uncle goes Ben emo. says to him, "With white power comes great responsibility." Yeah. Uncle Ben on his deathbed says, "White power. With white power <laughs> becomes the white man's burden. <laughs> keep them safe. Yeah, keep them. You have to make sure <laughs> they don't know any you better. You got to keep Indian people in line. They need you, <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> no, Uncle Ben. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready to boss Indian women around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Aunt May's like, oh, Peter, did Uncle Ben tell you about Indian women? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, good. Dude, dude uh, how about Marissa Tomei, dude? Because so in, in the cartoon, it's some old bitch. Yeah, about, Marissa about, Tomei could absolutely I mean, get this. Marissa Blow May. Blow May. Yeah. How about Marissa Blow May? Not how about you. Marissa Blow May. No, no but, Blow May. Blow May first. Marissa yeah. Blow May. Blow May. I'm pointing to myself, everyone. No, you're Marissa May, yo. No, that's yeah. not even close. Yes, <laughs> her name starts with Tome, but your name your name is Edissa Mayonnaise. <laughs> no, <laughs> what? Say it again. Edissa Mayonnaise. Edissa Mayonnaise. <laughs> your name? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. You fucking. Your name idiot. is Penissa Suck Lots. My name is Jonathan. <laughs> Gay sexy O. Chance. <laughs> Jonathan Chance. I'm a spy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a spy and I've got a dossier here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm actually, hold on, I'm opening up the dossier. And it says, I, Jonathan, it's gay. got all of your aliases. No. The first one, Edis and Mayonnaise. No. The second one, Fat Guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's now my alias. You came yes. up with that alias yourself? <laughs> Those are all fake. That's false flag, Adam. You're going <laughs> to yeah. believe this guy? He's a plant. He's a know. fucking I DHS him, plant. I see him here with this dossier. He's just it stop with a tiny fedora on, meeting people at the Edmonds <laughs> <Edimans outlet. laughs> Boom, 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 <laughs> Looking over my shoulder briefcase. suspiciously. Yeah. <laughs> That's when it catches me. <laughs> I think when you go bald pony, you should get a duster. And, What's a yeah. duster? <laughs> Like, <laughs> every like, like once a, every six months, probably every like time I smoke weed, coat. I imagine myself dressing like Bill Hicks and start laughing hysterically. Bill Hicks awesome. wears dusters. Yeah, yeah for I sure. mean, <laughs> it's very funny to imagine that Bill Hicks, like the last year of his life, he's like, "How funny it would be if I just said all this like serious shit, but then I dress like the biggest faggot in the world." <laughs> yeah. like, it was just like that was all an ironic bit. <laughs> that would have been a great bit, right? Where he's which like, gave us Tom Myers, right? Maybe his most enduring. He's bit. I'm gonna look like <laughs> I'm gonna look like some Undertaker fucking special education class retard <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, just the, the the biggest loser possible absolutely and then being like the government you ever think about it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's really just making fun of bill maher mm-hmm. he's really the last Did bill maher exist at that point yes but not in that form no not in that form you're right yeah what was he just a fucking comic he was in movies and stuff too I really think. yeah bill maher yeah i think he had like a damn not a Big career, and but... he's not Jewish, right? We did this math. No, he is. Jewish. He is. I tried to claim oh, he, he wasn't is. Jewish, but I think he found out 
later in life mm -hmm. that he was. And that's how he got into movies. Yeah. That's I mean, he couldn't. I mean, let's be honest. There's no other way. I mean, that's. Connections. I would say that's why he's annoying. There's probably. no other way I could be in movies. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's ugly. He's annoying. He's not that charismatic. Yeah. Yeah. What movie was Bill H or you know, Bill Morin? Uh, we could look it up. Name Some one. Bad shit. I saw a clip. I remember. Blank check. Blank no. check. Yeah, yeah, he plays Mr. McIntosh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Isn't that just the kid? It's a fake person. Listen, yeah. kid. If I had a check, I'd be spending it on prostitutes. <laughs> That's the coolest part about him. Yeah. Is that he fucks whores. Yeah. Everything else, though, can get Apparently bent. one specific type. Mm -hmm. Black? Is that what you mean? I thought... Whoa. I thought... Uh, Whoa, I dude. I th That's what I thought. Listen, we got to... The election's coming up. We got to swing back to being a politics podcast. Oh, That's yeah. True. We are a politics podcast. Also, podcast. like, you got to cool it on making any kind of references to black people. We can't people be. Yeah, that they exist. <laughs> oh, we no. can't. As a true political podcast, yeah. we have I, to ignore the existence of black we're, people. We're really, we got to walk on a tightrope here. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say. I, I will say this right now. I've only ever heard of white people. Uh -huh. yeah. And they're bad. That's right. There, I I only know of one. I've heard of a, a good group of people, but I don't know what color they are. I don't know what color they I'm are. Not, I'll tell you I that no much. Idea. No, at my place to even acknowledge that they exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's time to ramp up the politics. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, because Joe needs us. Mm -hmm. Who's Joe? I don't know. Yeah, I've never even heard. I don't of know him. who he is actually. I don't know who Joe is. I don't. Um, I think this year you should vote for. Uh, don't vote. Do vote. You, you, you have to. You, you have, have to vote. vote or die. You got a politics show that just, it, it really is as fucking cynical and <laughs> just <laughs> just start a politics. Listen, folks, it's very important that you po you vote, or maybe it isn't. And whatever you do, you got to trust your gut but and vote for the right person. And uh -huh. if you don't, it'll be your fault. It's your fault. Yeah. And then it's, but it's also not your fault. And there's a lot of, because it's about society mm -hmm. and it's a lot systemic of systemic issues. But there's it's also, if you, the fact that you didn't vote in yeah. a, in a state that's going to go Republican or Democrat one way or the other, what your is fault. a system anyways, but a collection of individuals? That's right. And you're one of those. And you're one of those individuals, but it's also society's fault. Thank you. You're listening to the Patreon politics. Right? <laughs> You're listening and to Give Us Money, the politics show. That's right. You know, but I don't, don't, I've don't, always don't, thought don't, that. Don't. <laughs> Just use them. Can we start using his music? Yeah. As parody law? His music kind of sounds a little bit like California. California, California love. love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always My said, dick is small. If you don't I vote, I am Bill Maher, and I'm gay. Bah, 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 bah. My show sucks dick. Bah, 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 bah. Dude, I'm we should California. I'm sucking penis. Knows how to hate my. We should have gone, dude. We had tickets. Yeah. To what? California? No, it's a real time with Bill Maher. Yeah, when mm -hmm. you were writing on that when show. When you were writing on that show, Stav and I scored some ticks. Did yeah. we? I thought we got some ticks. Some guy was like. I thought there was some kind of scheduling issue. We couldn't go because of yeah. that. Or maybe we left a little. Oh, when I was writing for Tucker Carl's. Yeah. yeah when when were, you were out in L.A. in Hollywood. When you lost that job to the guy that yeah. just got shit canned. Yeah. Which is It's weird shame. because the writer's room was that guy and a bunch of black women. Yeah. <laughs> it would be funny if they if Tucker Carlson had the same woke writer's room as everyone else. <laughs> yeah. And that controversy <laughs> happened. <laughs> It's the same writer's room as Big Mouth. And it was like it was like a twenty three year old Nigerian girl that was just yeah. like, What if we said that it was actually Jews doing all this? Yeah. <laughs> what the, like, we can all agree on. Yeah. yeah, which we can all agree on. Okay, well, time to for all of us to take lunch while the one Jewish guy in here does all the work. Writes all the jokes. <laughs> does absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll come back for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> have a great lunch, everybody. Have a great lunch, girls. I hope you're having a good lunch. Don't worry about me. I'll just be sinking into my spinal column, <laughs> writing the entire show. Chinese people, open your eyes, okay? <laughs> it's time to open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you good. go around squinting at everybody don't get angry when they do it at you <laughs>
<laughs> New rule. Bill, yeah. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill Maher. New rule. Bill Maher. The... Oh, right. I did, we did that. We did that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After he said it. He did. Dude, it was. <clears throat> him saying it was mm-hmm. hysterical. <laughs> It was like, so funny. There is no reason for that. Just the confidence with which he said it. <laughs> he was so it's like what? <laughs> if they took like his, classically if they took his pulse, it'd be like sixty-five beats per dude, minute. Yeah, like an Olympic swimmer yeah, taking yeah. a nap. Yeah. Yeah, like Michael Phelps in a hammock. <laughs> that's that's how low his fucking beats per minute would be, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just as cool, cool as, cool as can be, brother. <laughs> I'm a house bee. Yeah. <laughs> to a that senator, was, too. That it's not even with a comic who's right. going to riff with him. That, it, that <laughs> interview, <laughs> a member of the that government. interview is like a commercial for Clonopin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is how. So do you want to feel like this? Yeah. <laughs> it should have just been out in the field <laughs> tossing a football back and forth. And he's like, check this out. Boop. <laughs> And then it's just some uh, VO, get your life back. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get back to the you that just Forget dropped Forget about your rock. son being trans yeah. now. Just go ahead just and Just get drop. on pills. Get back to dropping in bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Willy goddamn nilly. <laughs> Truly a hysterical moment in television, man. <laughs> so fun. funnier than anything that's been on a fucking show. Speaking of pills, if your penis doesn't work. Oh, oh yes. If your penis doesn't work, you can go ahead and get it working again. Get it blue- fucking working with the blue chew. With blue chew. Ooh. Why don't you guys take it away? I'd love to, Nick, because you know what? Recently, I, I have, listen, I've been taking blue chew and I love it. And it makes my penis work nice. But I said, let's take a walk on the wild side. Mm-hmm. Somebody a while ago had sent me random unmarked dick pills, and I took one. Oh, my God. And it made, I will say, to give this random dick pill credit, it made my dick as hard as Blue Chew does, but, okay. but, but. horrible headache. Yeah. Horrible headache. I thought I was going to die. I had to take a fucking shower. Hot ears. Hot ears, the whole nine. Yeah. I was saying to myself, why did I, why did I fucking... Why did I forsake Blue Chew? Mm-hmm. Why did I use a different dick pill to get my dick hard? And I'll when tell I've you got what. the Cadillac of <laughs> dick pills, and just because I couldn't find them because I'm messy, well, guess what? Got a fresh shipment of, di- of Blue Chew, and I took one this morning. My dick is hard right now. No headache, no nothing. Oh, we're all hard. We, we, we take one before every show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you like sex, you'll love Blue Chew. You'll love, and I like sex. I mm-hmm. like it. I That's do. the thing. I have a, an appreciation for it sex. Excuse pro- me, but I like it. Yeah. A per- Sorry. performance Sorry. enhancement for the bedroom. Uh-huh. Like a gun. Would. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. If you can't find a gun to put up your own ass, mm-hmm. to have the woman put up your own ass. Mm-hmm. If that's the only her, way you know how to. Cook. Just put the gun up my. Put ass. the gun in my ass. <laughs> just put it in my ass. <laughs> in Blue Chew, you get the first chewables with the active ingredients: sildenafil or tadalafil. tadalafil. I'm a tadalafil boy. The same active ingredients is in Viagra and Cialis. Mm-hmm. This is Mort here for BlueChew.com. It's, listen, my penis. You got BlueChew Mort, guys. This my penis. Big. Listen. The official sponsor. Oh, from the Big Mouth Writers Room. That's right. That's it. I, yeah, big nothing. Mouth slash Tucker Carlson. My penis has been broken since 1972. <laughs> my rent hasn't gone up. I've been living in Columbus Circle with a broken penis pain. <laughs> Paying uh, just a price is so low that you probably put a gun in your mouth and pull the trigger if you heard it. Knowing that I do nothing but complain about my broken penis. <laughs> and BlueChew.com affiliated physicians work with you to find the dosage and active ingredient that is best for you. Mm-hmm. Some of them really talk like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. They get into this way that I... <laughs> it did now, I, you know, I leaned so far into being a stereotype that I'm a baby now. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know what happened. I just went on down to the Starbucks to get a newspaper, and now I'm a baby. <laughs> I did it for 20 years, and now I've just now become a baby that talks like this. <laughs> Jubals can work faster. Mm-hmm. The Jubals from Blue Chew can be taken on a full or empty stomach. That's Online right. physician consult is free, so it's cheaper than those other two. Oh, yeah. It takes only a few minutes to connect with a BlueChew.com affiliated physician. And if you qualify, you get prescribed online quickly. Faggot. So God fag. damn it. I said it wrong. <laughs> <Some> VO guy. <laughs> you fucking faggot. 
You fucking uh, Bill, it's okay. Just take it from the top. Boop. BlueChew.com. <laughs> Chewables can work faster. The Chewables from Blue Chew can be taken on a full or empty stomach. The online condition can f- fucking bitch. <laughs> Was Bill really the only guy we had left? <laughs> Fucking Bill, just, you got to stop His voiceover high. coach molested him when he was a child. Oh, and now this always Jesus happens. I'm gay. Hey, Bill, you're not gay. Good news. I just called your doctor. He says you're not gay. Boop. And just go ahead and take it Bill, to the top. The, the online the physician consult is free, so it's cheaper than those other two. Viagra and Cialis. It takes only a few minutes to get fucked in my ass when I was seven. God <laughs> damn it. No. <laughs> you know what? We got everything we needed, Bill. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> It only takes a few minutes to connect with a BlueChew.com affiliated physician. And if you qualify, you get prescribed online quickly. No in-person doctor visit. No back of a van in the San Fernando Valley getting molested repeatedly. Boop! <laughs> really, it's it's a okay, Bill. No it problem. Ships directly to your door in discreet packaging, tied up and bound, gagged, fucked day in, day out, until the end of summer vacation. <laughs> Oh, no. Going back to school will never be the same again. <laughs> Unplugged. No mic. <laughs> Holding a mic not plugged into anything. Yeah. Now I live outside under the Hyperion Bridge, <laughs> smoking dog shit to get high. <laughs> Dousing dog shit in bug spray to get high. <laughs> Spraying off all over dog shit and smoking it. <laughs> Trying to bury the memory of getting molested in a van <laughs> because my mom was a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Chew gives you confidence in bed every time. You and your partner will love it. Chew it new. <laughs> so here's a great deal for you guys. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code Comtown. Just pay five dollars shipping. That's B L E U, B L U E, B L E U. This is also yeah. I just Blue don't know how to read Blue it. Chew. <laughs> it is so I like using having sex with the, the character angels. of guy who got raped to make up for the fact that I literally can't read. <laughs> <laughs> That's Did a I, great character, man. Mm-hmm. That's B L U E Chew dot com. Promo code Comtown. Notes and idea starters. Please use your own language and talk about your experiences if you wish. We want men to know it's okay to need or want help. <laughs> need or want some help to boost confidence and offer better sex. Illegal in most states. Do not use the pills to rape. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and personally. Price is subject to verification. <laughs> Price is subject to verification. You're not allowed to use these pills if you're gay. <laughs> you are allowed to use these pills if you're gay. You are allowed to use the pills if you're gay. Sorry about that last part. Except in Massachusetts, <laughs> <laughs> illegal to use the pills to be gay in, in Boston. <laughs> Just within Boston city limits. Yeah. Yes. But good news, nobody lives in Boston. Mm-hmm. Everyone lives in the suburb. Yeah. Alston. Cambridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know all that kind of stuff. Quincy. Quincy. Newton. No, Salem. No South Shore faggots allowed. <laughs> no South Shore homos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better clean it up. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. It's for Blue Chew. Say homo. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm. Imagine getting canceled and you're like, I said no South Shore homos. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say South Shore faggots. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, damn. Uh-huh. Yeah. Blue penis. Shouts out to bluepenis.com. I, I, uh, Chew I, it and do it. I watched this movie, Spedders, the other day. This Paul Verhoeven movie from mm-hmm. before he came to America. And, uh, a character gets gang raped. Nice. How about Paul N. Verhoeven? Okay. Yep. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I think I could see. Some- okay. Yeah, it's my idea of us. Uh, there's a policeman who is shot, and, uh, they, uh, but he is a white man. And he's mm-hmm. shot uh-huh. about, but it is uh, some kind of a crazy future. Right? <laughs> they have uh, medicine and machines, and they b- build him. They, you know, it's Detroit, so they rebuild him with parts uh-huh. of uh, just leftover blacks. Yeah. And Paul, I think maybe we, what if he's a machine instead of well, yeah? What if he fights crime? They use black people parts to make him. Well, they could, uh, what about mach- what about electronics? Uh, no, and no? so <laughs> okay. part machine, part black guy, part man. So, okay. okay, so just they all use, part man, part machine. He's, yeah, he's part. a black. They turn the policeman into a black man whose head is a boombox. <laughs> <laughs> he's a ghetto blaster, and he, but, yeah, 
He gets back at the criminals by calling them the N word. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I think you got a lot of good elements here, Paul. Mm-hmm. I don't know N-word how you could, how you could fight crime, Mister mm-hmm. Edward Hoven. I like the part the part where he's a robot and a and a man. The name of the movie is called Showgirls. <laughs> 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 like yeah actually showgirls went through a lot of revision <laughs> the original script they cannibalized a lot for robocop which, but yeah his original screenplay yeah. that the studio didn't like the policeman has to turn into a stripper he's got a good puss <laughs> they give him a puss because he's a robot and a black man the police department won't pay him so he has to support his family that doesn't remember him because they think you know he's white yeah <laughs> so when mm-hmm. a black man with a boombox head shows up at home he the f- family is scared the t- right the t- so he has to become a sexy thought, lady so yeah. he becomes a stripper <laughs> and he has his Vegas. penis replaced with breasts <laughs> oh wait but he has breasts where his penis would be yes and <laughs> wow and he becomes the most popular stripper in detroit oh, oh, in detroit. oh still in detroit yeah. Yeah. and then he moves to new york to become a beautiful actress okay <laughs> okay <laughs> <Does> he- <laughs> i love it and then so he, his head is still a black guy yeah, with a boombox. But then bugs, but it's yeah, like giant bugs. These bugs try to kill him, yeah. and he has to go to space. <laughs> and then you find out the bugs are the good guys. And the bugs are actually Jews from yeah. the Holocaust. But mm. the, the Jew bugs are actually the good guys. And yeah. then does he also go to Mars? Was that him too? Um, yeah. And then yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, Mars yeah. attacks, and uh, he has to. There's two Jack Nicholsons, and one is the president. And the, uh, what about Mar- Sharon Stone, his uh, wife? I was talking about Total Recall. I think Mars Attacks is Tim Burton. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, a character gets gang raped mm-hmm. by five guys, and then uh, and then afterwards, one of the characters is like, yeah, we thought you'd like it, and then the next day, he is a homosexual. No, that's what tr- turns him gay. That's he- homo cop. He gets gang raped <laughs> into homosexuality. Wow. Like yeah. it's a gang. Yeah. It, like but, a woman in the bloods. Yeah, but then he just finds out from the gang rape that he's gay. And every. And, that's, uh, awesome. that's a nuanced understanding of homosexuality. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I bet that in the Robocop remake. <laughs> the Robocop remake where they show him what he looks like without the suit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's just a brain and they've made his dick huge and that's all that's left. And he's like. And he's gosh. just like. Hell yeah! <laughs> they're like, put the suit back on him. <laughs> this fucking rocks! This rules! <laughs> <laughs> My dick is fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Dude. Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that a lot, actually. Mm. Oh, you kept my original dick. Mm. You made my dick bigger? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, they're like, uh, no, actually, we made your dick bigger. And he's like, delete the files. <laughs> <laughs> delete all records. Delete the records of my penis. I'm going to destroy the computer room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Robocop's gone rogue. He's destroying all the records. He says his penis was <laughs> he's be regular size. <laughs> regular size. <laughs> <laughs> and he's killed all the scientists. All the scientists that knew what his penis looked like before are turning up dead. <laughs> and the movie this, becomes stopping uh, Robocop. It's called Robocop 2 Showgirls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Just a thriller <laughs> where every all the scientists that know what his dick looked like <laughs> keep dying. <laughs> Oh, okay. Anyone that's seen his penis, like his old high school coach, mm-hmm. <laughs> he kills his wife. He kills his wife. He, he kills, kills his doctors. <laughs> <laughs> He's like interrogating his fucking kid. It's like, did you ever see my penis in the shower? <laughs> You're not allowed to see it. <laughs> his son's like, why are you talking like Batman? He's like, I'm also Batman. I'm also Batman now. I've decided that when I moved to New York to be a beautiful actress, so to became Batman. <laughs> He pulls his dick out. He's like, "Look, what's up? Is this what it always was?" Uh-huh. Yes, Dad. Mm-hmm. Rachel, <laughs> look at my dick. <laughs> well, you see, Robo Batman, <laughs> cop show girls. <laughs> I know your penis used to be small. <laughs> no matter what you do, you can't fuck me. <laughs> look, you'll never fuck my ass, Batman. The Joker at his asshole, so he shut. <laughs> You, there's nothing you can threaten me with. 
and show your asshole. <laughs> show, I'm, you take it up. By the Open t- up your ass. Now you have a choice. <laughs> By the time it takes you to unstitch my asshole, <laughs> Rachel will be dead. <laughs> you can either go fuck Rachel and save her, or fuck me in my ass. <laughs> Harvey! <laughs> Go save Rachel, but you're not allowed to fuck her. <laughs> well, if I save her, I'm going to fuck her. No! <laughs> <laughs> and by, and somehow yeah. this proves your dick was regular. It is him just fucking the Joker in the ass <laughs> while Harvey Dent's eating Rachel's pussy. <laughs> Batman's on the phone. He can hear her coming. And he's like, no! <laughs> 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 no! No, Rachel! Rachel! <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoy my ass, Batman. <laughs> because now you're gay, <laughs> and Rachel's <laughs> Rachel, and my broadcast you fucking me in the ass on the news. <laughs> Gotham shocked to find out that beautiful actress Robo Batman is actually gay for the Joker. <laughs> In other news, <laughs> assistant DA Rachel got her pussy eaten last night in an abandoned factory by Harvey Dent. He did a really good job. <laughs> yeah. He ate her pussy Being very well. Being straight, he ate it very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like cell phone video. Rookie <laughs> cop fucking Joker in the ass while he laughed. Rachel! No! It's on speakerphone. <laughs> You're gay now. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> You've fallen into my trap. You've fallen into my trap, bad man. <laughs> now you're gay. Yeah. The whole point. Oh, man. I can't believe I've done this to you, Master Wayne. you gay, Master Wayne. Bruce, Bruce Wayne's like, I stopped being Batman like six years ago. He's like, no, it's a, it was from this the is some Verhoeven movie. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is some guy from Detroit. <laughs> I'm in an alternate universe now where I'm in high school. <laughs> where I'm a guy in high school that's goth. And I just solve crimes around the school and not Batman anymore. Uh-huh. I'm for teenagers. <laughs> oh, that's right, Master Wayne. That's right. Well, I guess I'll go kill that homo. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alfred's also homophobic. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So when, I was in, him. when I was in Burma, there was a six-year-old boy that we were all taking turns with. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, where's this story going? <laughs> I don't no, get it. We found the rubies in his ass. <laughs> what I'm saying is it might seem wrong to rape a child at first, but when you find out that they were actually the ruby thief <laughs> through the process of fucking them and around them in sort of a, you know, sort of a Machiavellian sort of way, is it really... Was it really wrong? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's still wrong. It's still fucked up. And it's weird. still kind You're of fucked up. You're being a pedophile. You're a pedophile, You raped the kid, Alfred. Yeah, but I'm British. Oh, oh yeah, that's where you got good there. point. That's... I guess it's more of a sort of a systemic problem. <laughs> were you wearing a pith helmet while you were doing it? Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, that dastardly joker strikes again. Mm-hmm. Dude, what a... So anyway, that is my idea for what the movie. What a master movie. of tricks. <laughs> that's the idea I set up. You know, that's the whole pitch. <laughs> we love it, Mr. Edward Hoven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how Paul it started. Oh, Edward <laughs> and then we are thinking maybe there's a sequel where there's a guy named Bane who is like a Black Lives Matter <laughs> sort of guy. And they're having, he's uh, very Antifa. And he also fucks Batman. And uh, this time Batman, Batman is sort of the bad guy. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn, Christopher Nolan's other movie's never going to come out, huh? Yeah, apparently it's... Dude, I saw the trailer for that on Mushrooms when I saw Star Wars and it looked awesome. Because I was on Mushrooms. I don't remember the trailer. I watched it again sober. It did not look as good. But on Mushrooms, seeing that movie, that trailer fucking was so good. What movie? Tenant. Why don't they just release it on demand? I know. Because that's Christopher Nolan's a fucking People bitch. would spend 20 bucks this I year. would. I would. I got a big ass TV. I got a big ass projector. <sighs> I, I mean, would take Mushrooms and watch it. theaters aren't going to be open for another year, probably. Yeah, Broadway shut down until 2021. God I mean, we were, this is the third time it. I've mentioned that in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Nick loves Broadway, but you guys don't know this about Nick. He sees a fucking meet- you know what, I like Honestly, I would mm-hmm. like to like Broadway because it's like I live in New York. I should be taking advantage of yeah, that. Yeah, it's the yeah. only place in the world you can the, see the, it. Maybe three times I've seen plays in my <clears> life. It's like 
It's nice. I've only gone in Baltimore to the shout out the Everyman Theater when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. They used to take us to. There's, there's a lot of cool plays there. It's mostly guys just. <clears throat> it's a guy sitting on stage getting into mm-hmm. a fight with Radio Shack customer service. Yeah, it's just that <laughs> every, every man. yeah every yeah. man kind of things. Kind of an Arthur. Miller. I saw fences there. Well, it yeah, good. it's no, it's not clearly labeled what kind of watch the batteries are for. Uh huh. And that's the play. Excuse me, y'all sell free days here? <laughs> and there's a lot of yelling, so you know it's good. Yeah, is there, you guys sell socks. <laughs> yeah, I know it's no, Radio Shack. Radio. I'm asking. <laughs> I'm fucking asking. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, Rachel. No. <laughs> You're gay now. <laughs> <laughs> that being the turn. Rachel, are you coming? <laughs> don't come. You can enjoy it, but at least don't come. Don't come. Don't come, Rachel, please. <laughs> don't nut in his mouth. <laughs> please don't bust. I'm coming, Batman. <laughs> There's cum leaking out of my penis. <laughs> no. No, I'm gay. Do you want to know what makes me cum? <laughs> Damn, dude. Mm. Mm. That's Now, that's good stuff. I saw the boss in a play, the, ki- the, the king, Gandolfini. You did? One of the three plays I've seen in New York. Damn. Yeah. But that was before I moved here. What a braggart. I took a mega bus up here so I could what see What a him. braggart. Yeah. What shit, what play was it? It was called God of Carnage. I believe That's they made cool. it into a movie. Was he in it? Uh, no. It was him. Jeff Daniels was in it too. Was he shitting his pants? Was he? Sh- had, did he have diarrhea? No, but I saw. I, if Jeff I Daniels saw a preview doesn't... before the show like came out, and I saw David Chase and uh, the King Little Stevie walking in together. Oh, nice! And he is a, a, a petite man. Stevie. Who, Stevie Van Zandt? Yeah, he's a small guy. Shut the fuck up, yeah, really? He's little. Yeah. Get how tall? Uh probably like five seven. Okay. Yeah, so he's a regular he's a really he's tall, tall guy. Like a tall guy. So he's tall. I don't get yeah, it. That sounds like a guy that's maybe probably a little above average. Maybe just height. maybe like an inch lower than the cutoff for what would be considered tall. Tall, yeah. 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 You know, a tall five eight. Yeah. To five a, a towering five eight. Yeah, that's little. tall and up. Tall enough. Tall enough. Yeah. Yeah. Five seven, I would say is the per. I would. I five, think the perfect height. Five ten, you start getting into gay guy too. <clears throat> yeah, too. now you're like a lanky giraffe that now, gets fucked in its ass. Yeah, now yeah. you're you're probably a bitch. That would be so <laughs> embarrassing to be over six feet. Tall. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, you know how hard it is for those guys. Mm. Yeah, because it's they feel people feel so bad for them that they pretend it's good. They're too yeah. tall to have sex with women. Oh, <laughs> women hate those guys. Yeah, chicks <laughs> hate it because they're so tall and so. Well, your body right? uses up all your growth hormones on your bones, so your dick your stays dick's small. So yeah, little. so it gets so small. And yeah. guys that are five seven with little dicks uh-huh. that's regular that's normal that's <laughs> what you want to be <laughs> yeah with those guys the growth hormones it makes sense we're yeah, actually yeah. sold for cash mm-hmm. so they're to rich. help people yeah. to help but yeah they went to they're africa good guys. Guys. they probably was guys. buying lunchables for people in mm-hmm. africa mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah that's true and leaving the 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 candies in there there's a lot of charities that remove the desserts from lunchables not right. these type of guys not these guys Five seven guys with little dicks. Uh-huh. <laughs> the male, the perfect man. Uh-huh. But he was petite too. He wasn't like a big guy. Yeah, but he is so cool, dude. He was wearing his bandana. Yeah, he rocks. His stupid face. He's so cool. You know, he was supposed to be cast as Tony originally. Yeah, originally. You know, it was him and the guy who played um, uh, Jack April or not J- Jackie April. Not Jackie. His dad, John. Who's the fucking who was boss before John John April? No, Jackie was the boss before. Oh, okay, Jackie, 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 Jackie you're right, Jr. You're right. Yeah, Jack. <clears throat> and those no, three Jackie were the finalists. Jr. was his fuck up son. I know Jackie yeah, was the dad. Stop already corrected himself. Sorry, Adam. sorry, 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 sorry. Don't okay? make me look like I don't know the guy's name. I know. I know. Don't make him look. You know like I that. know the guy's Jackie fucking name. Boss, you know his name, and then Junior, and then Tony. Why don't you go get us a couple of orange cream sodas? <laughs> all right, I'm, I'll be right back. <laughs> why don't you go? Why don't you go run down the block? And first of all, Junior why was you only run down the block and go get me a big old glass <clears throat> of calm. How about was this? A head. Junior was not really the boss. He was not really the boss. He didn't actually have the power. If they, anything, they Tony was a was genius. He kept the heat off him. It was a genius if maneuver. I, if I went to one of those like Blue Lives Matter rallies with a sign that says my dick is small, do you think I would get the shit beaten out of me by Italians? Uh, 
As you should but say, really try and sell it. Like maybe just like mingle for a while and then bust the and sign then bust out. The sign out. Yeah, says, you, like you got to punish your shirt on. You yeah. got everything out. You're like, oh, oh they're like, nah, nah. I'm here for the cops. But I also got personal stuff <laughs> that involves me that I would like to address. <laughs> yeah. It would have to be a double sided sign. Uh, yeah. It would have to say, you know, Blue Lives Matter yeah. or whatever. No, nah, yeah, I got I have my sign from a different rally I went to and now I got I I'm reusing, I'm reusing it. I'm reusing it. <laughs> I'm reusing a fucking oh, come sign. On. It's about, you know, you don't think about recycling. I'm protesting yeah. the size of my own dick. I got a pride. I it. was at a different rally. I was at a different rally. I'm going to throw away the fucking sign or yeah. I'm going to use the other it's side. good poster board. Counter protesting a big dick rally. <laughs> and I was pissed off. I was pissed off about it. <laughs> Hey, yo, this guy's not for me. Yeah, no, it's fucking different. It's like, you know, look, we're all here because we're pissed off. <laughs> we all love being pissed off. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let me, put, let me just recycle my fucking sign. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to get another piece of, what is it? What do you call it, big paper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you even get this yeah, shit? it's like a big, thick paper. What the fuck is this thing? It's like a big piece of paper or something? <laughs> The fire, I open up the printer. I take a piece of paper out. I measure it. It's fucking half the size it's of this It's not thing. even even close. So I throw that one out, go back to the printer, pull out the next one, measure that. Same size. It's basically the fucking same size <laughs> yes. as the other one. It's only a couple I inches know. different. You're talking about 15 hours I spent <laughs> measuring every one of those fucking pieces of paper. They're all about the same size. I love I it. I love, <laughs> yeah, I love the... He's so bad at measuring. They're not the exact same size. Yeah. They're not. They're a all, uni give or take size. a couple of <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of them, none of them will even remotely qualify as a big fucking piece of paper. Uh -huh. And I understand the dramatic irony of writing my penis is small on a tiny piece of paper. <laughs> but I want a big fucking piece of I paper. Want a piece of paper. And I only got one of them, and I already blew it at the fucking tiny penis rally. <laughs> So forgive me if I write Blue Lives Matter on the backside of my my dick is small thing, <laughs> and come here, come here down the fucking Bay Ridge to show respect to Bay Ridge to show my support the Guinea Gulch. Yeah. <laughs> no, me, I live in Fairfax, Virginia. <laughs> no, I'm not from here. At no, all. I'm not. No. <laughs> yeah, my no, name I'm... is John Mullane. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, my, I'm not even Italian. My my name is Richard Salswater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, my family are uh, uh, German Jews originally, <laughs> converted. converted. I just seen the Sopranos for the first time. Yeah. I guess I'm talking like this. No, I get my therapist said it might make me feel better if I, you know, blame it on Italians. <laughs> because I'm so obs I, my identity is so wrapped up in how small my dick is. Uh -huh. They thought maybe if I would just maybe pretend, I'd to, be, pretend to be Italian. Maybe I pretend yeah. to be Italian. You know. Just why don't I care about the police? Yeah. <laughs> and by therapist, I mean my wife. <laughs> oh, fuck. And by wife, she doesn't know we're married. We don't. She doesn't know we're married. She it's actually married. a picture of Nicki Minaj I <laughs> masturbate to. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a picture on my phone of Nicki Minaj <laughs> that I uh, that I stroke my penis. That I to. do uh, contribute to. I have a little cushy dream about it. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. If you are pretending to be Italian and you're pissed off because your dick is small, mm -hmm. what you need to do is smoke some CBD, I some should... high quality There's CBD. There's one thing Listen. all Italians love, and that's weed that doesn't get you high the regular way. That's right, brother. If, if you're like me, you definitely forget to open up the copy for the reads. <laughs> um, shit. No. <laughs> not, not me. You got it? You got it? Here no, we go. I don't have it. Yeah, I got it. Um, company Cush Your Dreams slogan smoke your CBD because you can Cush Your Dreams up is a full line up of premium smokers <laughs> deep mm. CBD oil uh, listen I be, I'm not even a guy pretending to be Italian and mad because my dick is small I'm just a Greek guy who knows he's Greek he isn't pretending to be nothing and his dick is small if your dick doesn't work try Cush Your Dreams, Cush your dreams. Cush your CBD it works at least as good as Blue Chew mm -hmm. uh huh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah yeah, Blue Chew gets you high and Cushy Dreams gets you get dick your dick hard. Gets you hard. Fuck. Here we go. Um, here we go. Use them together. S send the copy. Well, I just got to say, folks, look, we don't even need that. Here's the thing. Here you I don't go. even need you a copy. Go. There you go. I, no, I sent it to you. But, but I, go, I don't even need it. I go to go piss. Because I here's, love here's it. What we do. The, the sponsor's probably going to be mad about this, but I'm going to dip out to go piss. And when I come back, 
Your boys better still be doing We're, the read. Oh, we'll it. Go, first of all, which, I don't even need to. And, which account, and I'm going to be repeating everything you said. Which email do you I send love it. To the group chat. Oh, didn't get it. Didn't it's get coming it. in. It's coming in there. Well, just, just we're well, here's the point. Wait. Here's a, we don't need to wait because I love I cushy dreams. Piss, well, guess what, man? Am I the only words? fucking professional left in the, on this fucking podcast? You are, dude. I don't need these I'm fucking losers. I'm gonna stay. Losers. I'm gonna stay. Okay, so cushy I don't need dreams. you, man. We're big. Well, I gotta tell you, man. I love, I love smoking high qual, high quality CBD. Uh huh. Okay, and I like I love cushy dreams because here's the thing: they got the fucking powerful flower. All right, they got the shit fucking in little little fucking. You want to smoke eighths of that shit? Great, but they got beautiful little pre rolls. Oh, maybe, <clears throat> maybe you're tired of getting high as fuck, eating so many edibles, your brain doesn't fucking work. You watch movies, you don't even remember what happened. Uh-huh. You you order four hundred dollars worth of seamless in a month you easily. Know. You know how it goes. Maybe you're tired of living that lifestyle, but you're not tired of smoking some beautiful. High quality flower. Yeah, you want something that looks like high quality marijuana, feels like high quality mm-hmm. marijuana. You would probably get tastes... arrested if you if you were yeah. smoking it outside. Yeah, it's but it's not that, getting you high. Something that if you were black and you were smoking it in public, you might actually be killed. Over you right? Yes, by a, by a member th- of our of, of our, our police of our armed services of our armed police services of our armed police services. <clears throat> and you know what? You might think, hey, how's that legal? Guess what? They're shipping to all 50 states. All 50, 50 states fucking states, you legally. fucking... That means Hawaii, skifuits. you know? That means yeah. if you're out on in on uh, maybe pipe, you're, pipeline maybe you're in on Alaska. the North Shore trying maybe to be you're the tag, king of the beach. Maybe you're one of fucking... Uh, what's her face? The, the vice presidential candidate with the big titties. Um, her, maybe you're Sarah Palin's fucking children. Maybe you're Sarah Palin's retard grandson. <laughs> that's right. Um, Maybe that's ta- Trigger. Yeah, flip, 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 dickhead, flip, flip, dick, dip, fl- dick, lip, <laughs> dick, lip, palin. Yeah, this is my, this is my retarded grandson, mm-hmm. dick, lip, palin. Mm-hmm. Maybe your dick, lip, palin. Guess what? It's in all fifty states. Here we go, folks. If we talk about cushy dreams, we should probably talk about the primary talking points. Uh, I think so. Bullet point number one. It looks like high. We quality. already covered that. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, the content CBD. But it's got the, and I know you're thinking, look, I like CBD. Is the con, is the CBD content going to be a high percentage? Motherfucker, it's 20% the highest in the fucking game. That's the fucking highest. You can't CBD. get higher CBD content in a smokable ma- fucking fake marijuana than this. If shit. you can find a higher CBD content, I will kill myself I'll fucking on kill air. myself. I'll suck my own cock and then I'll fucking pull the trigger. I'll up. suck my own cock with a gun in my ass <laughs> and kill myself. <laughs> By a ass ass gun, yeah. a gunplay, you know. Uh-huh. And listen, there's a lot of CBD gummies. There's a lot of CBD droplets. Smoking that shit is the fastest way to get it in your fucking system. Mm-hmm. Roll up a little fucking joint, a Rooney, okay, and just feel feel like feel beautiful on your balcony, and let that CBD go uh-huh. into your bloodstream fast, and you're relaxed, you're calm. But your head ain't, you're not, your head isn't in the fucking yeah. clouds. Let that open up your third eye, mm-hmm. which. Helps you see the truth about, <clears throat> and this is uh, this is the same what? type of CBD that they smoke on the TV show Jackass. Yes, absolutely. Steve O used this to help get off whippets. Yeah, it's actually copyright the exact same CBD. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same CBD that Buzz Aldrin <laughs> used to make up the moon landing. That's yeah, right. It's true. Mm-hmm. The same kind that astronauts use to f- have fuck. Fuck get pussy. I'm trying to have fuck. I'm trying to have some fucking pulp. Independent fuck. lab testing. This is cool. They've actually closed all the corona testing facilities uh-huh. to double check to the CBD double check content. the CBD. And it turns out that it's just, they show compliance and purity. And then there's a link here to the results. Mm-hmm. And we'll click on that. We're clicking what on it, it, and it says A plus. And it, A plus. A plus. One hundred percent. Open in Safari. Lab results. Extraordinary smokable flower. And um, the create effect. Um, canna, cannabidiverin is 0.09%. Cannabididol is 0.61. Cannabidigerol is ND. Tetrahydrocannabidiverin is ND. Nice. Oh, I Cannabidulia acid is 22.212%. Yep. Nice. Can can a bajaker look acid is point twenty five percent. So true. Uh cannabinol CBN is N D. 
What about sacdicabinol? Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol is 0.1%. Yep, 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 yep. Delta, that's right, bitch. Delta 8 tetracannabinol, whatever, is something else. And moisture is 6.71%. Wow. Nice. And this is from a company called Coastal Analytical. Mm-hmm. They do independent laboratory testing. I actually sent some of my cum there. And um, yep, they said it was some of the weakest shit they'd ever come across. <laughs> zero weed in it. <laughs> no weed, no sperm no either. No weed. Yeah. Nick has no sperm in his cum. That's not true. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at the results. That's yeah. not true. In fact, he zero has sperm. no no swimmers. Yeah, that's it. Would be great to get get tested, get your dick test or cum tested, and they're like, "Yeah, you can't get anyone pregnant." And then you're like, "Abortion should be illegal." <laughs> <laughs> they just come out like I right, just be responsible. <laughs> if you don't want to, get, don't get pregnant. <laughs> if you don't think, just get pregnant. If I got a woman pregnant, I would never. Uh, I never. would insist she keeps. It. I would love to be a father. I would, it would be an even honor. though the idea of even of grooming my horse in Red Dead Redemption gives me anxiety. That's I'm true. ready to That's be a father. Lie. That's not true. I know I'm the sort of I'm halfway the guy in this hypothetical. Well, I'm talking. This part is me. Oh, okay. This half is me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. Sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry. That's that all right. Was, that you was love grooming your horse on Red Dead. Yeah, dude. I would feed the horse. I'd groom it. Give it a little carrot. That's the best part of the game. <laughs> Easy there, boy. <laughs> you okay there, you boy? Okay, girl. See, I would have a girl horse because I'm not gay. Yeah. I'm like you. All right, You're riding bro, around you on a man. Girl animals. You're riding around on a man. Couldn't be me. Dutch, there's another version of me that's gay. <laughs> Somewhere out there. Riding around on a girl horse. <laughs> on a man horse. On a girl mm. horse. The gay version of me is on a man horse. Arthur, we're going to have sex with our horses. <laughs> but perfect. I don't know about this plan, Dutch. I'm ready for it because my horse is a girl and D- I'm not gay. Dutch, how the hell is that going to get the federales off our back? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Arthur, we're going to be smoking cushy dreams. It's a new world, Arthur. <laughs> Things are changing. It's lab tested. <laughs> it's, and it's hand trimmed. It's grown in Oregon. An alternative for people looking to cut back on smoking, smoking other things. Like <laughs> cock. <laughs> <laughs> like pole. Which is what I would be smoking if my horse was a boy. I love sucking my horse's cock. <laughs> Ever since I started smoking cushion drinks. I was laughing earlier about sucking cock, but then you pull the cock out of your mouth and you go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> a big glass of water after a fucking a hot day yeah. stroll. <sighs> <sighs> and then, mm. and then mm. the person getting their dick sucked is like, can you just, that's annoying. Yeah. Can you just not do that? <laughs> that's not a natural reaction. I would love it if someone sucked my cock and then went, <sighs> I hate it when people, I hate it when people do it with drinks. No, I love it. See, again, it's it's a European thing, I think. Yeah. Uh well, European me off. You're, yeah. You're a, you're a suck in my dick. Yeah. How about that? Mm-hmm. It mixes well with other things you can smoke, like cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just sprinkle some cushy yeah. dreams over your lover's cock and smoke mm-hmm. that thing. What you do is you blow it up your boyfriend's ass, uh-huh. and then you he suck it out of his suck dick. It out of his suck dick. the smoke out of his dick. That's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, each batch is slow cured for two to four weeks to guarantee maximum freshness and That's preserve. beautiful. The like flavor Brigitte. and cannabinoids, they take an artisan approach. So they, they got Leon the professional. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fucking mm-hmm. being, you know. Stopping like, having sex with uh, a child. To- we have to we have to cultivate the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and then me and my eight-year-old girlfriend <laughs> will kill the policeman <laughs> who is trying to say this is weed. <laughs> is, is Gary Oldman a policeman she, in the she in that movie? Just don't fuck to cock a pussy ass, fuck a penis, fuck a penis ass, right? <laughs> just like make, just make a Goddard movie where you penis fuck ass shit, penis, penis pussy. fuck a pussy, penis pussy, penis rape. I can't wait to suck a penis, fuck my ass, penis. <laughs> Every day she has she has a penis put into my. And she fucks me in my ass until I come out of my mouth. Out of your mouth? I come. She comes in my ass so hard that the cum comes all the way out of my mouth. <laughs> she looks out to the city and what does she see? A window. What is inside of it? It's me getting fucked in my 
ass. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. Does, what does it mean? What does it mean to see me getting fucked in my ass so much that the cum comes out of my mouth? I think what it means is you should go to cushydreams.com, mm-hmm. spelled K U S H Y dreams. Mm-hmm. With a Z, and, no? No. Oh, and, yes. You fucking idiot. Sorry. And at checkout, use promo code CUMTOWN for 20% off your first order. Mm-hmm. Woo. Smoke your CBD because you can. Because you Smoke can. it because you can. <laughs> and let's start the show. <laughs> bow, wow. Bow, 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 wow. I'm gay. That's on your theme music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's. That's a good song. Bow, wow. Bow, 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 wow. I'm gay. Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. All those that suck horses, put my dick in their arms. It would be it's it's interesting to see like what would happen if things calmed down because it's very easy to get into like a doomsday mindset. Mm-hmm. But with the record of social media, it'll be funny to see if you know we just have like the the same kind of neoliberal future as we had four years ago. Right? right. Nobody yeah. really gave a shit about anything. Yeah, and everything's still getting worse, if but it's, no one cares. Yeah, if it's a race to be as coolly detached as possible among the most, you know, fucking rabid people. Yeah. You're like, oh, actually, yeah, I don't care. I was joking earlier. I was joking, and I didn't. Those three years where I said, get the guillotines, I didn't care. I didn't actually give a fuck. I didn't actually. It's lame to care, actually. Man, the guys, the people that, like... Or like Choppy Boy or whatever the fuck about guillotines. I don't know what so that is. Gay. What's know. that? Well, people are like doing cutesy names for a guillotine. Oh. Where it's like, yeah, look, I agree. We should kill. Jeff Bezos should die, right? But you're not going to do it. You're a no, pussy. You're, you're a fat pussy. Unlike me, a strong man. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I'm not on there tweeting about it. I just. It's a belief that you're I just have. making the plans. I just. Yeah. I'm. 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 I'm secret. I'm me and my fucking working group. You we're move figuring quiet. it out. We move in the sh- real G's move in silence like lasagna. Like lasagna. As we all know. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean I hope things get better. I mean Well, uh, my point is that they wouldn't actually get better. Oh, people they wouldn't. Would just, people no, would just it, stop caring. It would still be bad, but No, I would like things to actually realistically get things are worse, but they're marginally worse than they were. Um, I don't know. A bunch of people are out of work. With all well, the that's the shit. that's the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like that, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna go into what I think about lockdowns <laughs> again. <laughs> no, it seems Damn, I want to make sub. I don't. I, I mean, to say like I don't think I think it's just like whatever. I mean, the the lockdown shit could have happened with anybody, and it's just like a huge bureaucratic failure and a big like in my mind. If you want to be have a conspiracy about it, it's like. You know, yeah, of course. It's just there's no way to it would have been fucked up regardless of who was. Yeah, I think that I think you're probably right. Like assuming Biden wins, then there's just going to be a malaise that settles in. Going back to again. brunch. Yeah, people are going to go back to brunch. Remember Obama? Remember it's yeah. like no one gave a fuck about anything. But people like loved Obama and really thought he was going to change things. Yeah, yeah. they loved him for ten the minutes. First, the first yeah. term, and then he didn't. Cool. He didn't do any of those things. And then he got his he, ass cheeks clapped by the Republicans. And but he but, just got yeah, to but he be got reelected. He, he was, he just became the president. No one really cared. Right, but then he was like, it was able to sort of like wash over all of that by just being sort of cool right. and and. And, and like, pussy too. Yeah, there is there is like weight to being the first black president or whatever mm-hmm. that made it easy to bomb eleven different countries. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, any of the shit that was going on that nobody fucking cared about that suddenly is a huge issue to everyone. And how yeah. little dick did Obamacare yeah. ended it's up? It's like being... Biden can't do that. Yeah, you know yeah. nobody's gonna be like he's so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nobody's gonna be excited about it. No, I mean, people weren't excited about a Biden Bi- or Biden vice president. Right, you know. That was like, yeah, Obama, yeah. but I guess Biden. Yeah, Biden. Yeah. It was so funny that they picked Biden, man. Yeah. His whole career up until then was like the guy who kept getting caught plagiarizing JFK speeches. Mm-hmm. Every time he ran for president, uh-huh. he would just give mm-hmm. JFK speeches. We're going to put somebody on the moon. <laughs> By the end of the decade. Ask not what fear from whatever or no. Mm-hmm. Ask your country or whatever. Eat ass not what you can ask your pussy. Mm-hmm. Fuck me and my ass. Yes. <laughs> fuck not yeah. my ass because it's gay. Ass the mouth, not what you can fuck me and my <laughs> ass. 
<laughs> People are like, yes. Is Kennedy okay? Is Jack all right? Ich bin yeah. ein yeah. gay guy. Ich suck dick van ich faggot. Ich bin von penis. <laughs> ich bin ein penis. German people are like, oh, yeah, that's, that's German. Very cool, cool. Mr. Hey, Kennedy. Can we Thank please, you for saying our language. Please send us more uh, cinnamon rolls. <laughs> There's a Berlin airlift. They just sent fat Jeans. pussy over there. They got, yeah, big yeah, they said pussy. BBWs. Yeah. I feel like there. Germans have fatter pussies. West Berlin. That's just something I think. Fatter pussies? I haven't done any research, but I just think of sort of Nordic type, but fatter. I don't know. I, I feel like I don't, I still don't trust them fully. I wouldn't, I feel I like, blame you. I feel like if they you ever had, think if that they maybe it's up pussies? to them to trust you? No. <laughs> <laughs> because if you really look at it, whose trust was violated? I have The gotten... German people? <laughs> no. The I, German people? Listen. Did they break any kind of promise? Yes. Yeah. Or did they just react to promises broke? <laughs> listen. I think pretty clearly they were the ones that broke promises. I feel like I don't they, know. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> but I'm not like devil's that. advocate yeah. about the Nazis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about the German like, people. Yeah. You, you know, know, an mm -hmm. apology goes a long way. Just it's admitting mm -hmm. that they're you're just wrong doing their jobs. Sorry. And as we can we can see with this pandemic thing, you should be happy you have a job. Yeah. Sure, and if somebody true. tells you to put somebody on a train, you do it. That's, That's your right. job. Because because there was a, a pandemic. You could be out of work and you could be one of these people just sucking up unemployment benefits. Yeah. <laughs> spending it all on PlayStation. So true. Not a care in the world. We need to cut those benefits off. We need right. to make sure oh, people yeah. starve to death to teach them a lesson. Mm -hmm. About getting the problem. Yes, the yeah. problem with them making more money now than when they had a job is that they're lazy. They're lazy. Not that their jobs don't pay dick hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn. Why don't we just give everyone six hundred bucks for the rest of time, and everyone can get pussy and just hang there out? There should be a look. If I was in charge of everything, here's the two things I'd implement right off the bat. You still get to have personal property. But there's zero property taxes on it. Any resident, single residence that you occupy. Okay, right? I love that. You should, if you have a second property, jack those fucking taxes up. Love it. Yeah, straight love through it. the fucking roof. I agree completely with you. dissuade people from having anything that even resembles an investment property. Number two, there should be UBI, but the way it works is it's a bribe to never fucking post anything on the internet ever. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. You have to delete You choose every between account. a Twitter account yeah. and yeah. UBI. If you get you start off with you get a thousand dollars a week. Mm -hmm. For every character that you type on the internet, you lose a dollar. We already yeah, the whole idea of privacy is gone. Everybody True. decided they didn't want it. You know, after nine eleven, that's a fucking pipe dream that we're ever gonna have privacy anymore. And now people even beyond yeah. Like being the government or big tech or whoever does it, people want to just expose every detail of their personal lives. Mm -hmm. They willingly want to give it up. Yeah. Right? So every word you type, every character, you lose a dollar out of your thousand. Yes. Character. Yeah. Wow. For every... Yeah. Maybe word. Who Even gives? a space. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll find the right... No, 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 yeah, no. we'll do the... Character. Yeah. Character. Adam, like, Adam's hardline on this. Mm -hmm. I'm hardline. It's like a gun buyback program, but it's for social media accounts. Yeah. Basically, we want to boil it down to the only thing that you can post online is a single emoji once a week. To let people know how you're feeling. Yes. Smile. That'd be great. I would quit angry. comedy. Mm -hmm. And all the emojis are in the black uh, skin. Well, uh, that's blackface. Well, you, you're that's just the only one. You're canceled, sis. That's the only one. You're actually canceled, Adam. All right, fine. I went too far. Yeah, because, well, first of all, you that. do do digital blackface, and let's not forget. Yeah. For my uh, <laughs> because you're, Chris Bosch. Because you're Chris Bosch on Twitter. Mm-hmm. A lot of people never thought I did digital blackface when I was on Twitter, but if they knew how I was saying the tweets. In it was in black voice, mm -hmm. black scent. Yeah. Yeah. The hell you mean there's no unicorns? <laughs> you mean I sucked off? You telling me I sucked off a regular horse? That's a classic. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I would do all of them. Yep. Dude, it's wild to think about what Twitter used to be in that. I used to like go on Twitter. I'd wake up hungover and be like, Time to have fun online with my right, friends. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Time to do jokes on the internet with my friends. Yeah. I can't even look at it anymore. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Nice. I think people should go back to normie posting. Well, it's like, it's funny because people are like, you know, it's like, I've said before, like, oh, I miss the, the old internet, which was mean, but it was also funny. And there was like a, a balance that you could strike between the two of them. Mm -hmm. And it's not like this new internet is any nicer. 
No, no, it's more me. <laughs> it's it's way more it's me. It's more, way more me. Because you want to destroy people's right. lives. It, right. You used to go online. Ugly. You used to go online. Somebody be like, "Nice hat, faggot." Yeah. yeah. That's it. That was the extent. They're not going to lose their job. Oh, right. It's like you should lose your health insurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because in two thousand nine, we're finding your mother's address. In two thousand nine, <laughs> you said you wouldn't watch Spider Man if he was black. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gonna, it's sadistic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's suck this dick. It's suck this dick now. Ah, uh, damn. Damn, I wish I could just stop doing all this shit. Y'all want to get something to eat after this? Um, uh, I had some of my green curry that I made last night before we recorded. Just say yes. I mean, just say yes on the show. Yeah, dude. Don't, yeah, yeah, dude. don't embarrass me like this. Let's go back. Dude, if I say yeah. new, new rule. New rule. If I say, do you want to do something? I don't even mean it. We got to let you <laughs> know. <laughs> I'm trying to transition. Last episode, I, I said, you want to go to the beach? I think you said yes on the show. Yeah. But you did said no. But you said no. But then I ended up not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I see it. I respect that. Yeah. 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 Then yes, I do want to get something to eat. Okay. <laughs> Have do, a power lunch. Do you actually though? <laughs> I don't. Oh no. I'm sorry. You ate before the show too. Yeah, I had salmon. a salmon. Yeah, I also ate before the show. Yeah. I'm in day three. I do want another of coffee. Recover, of fat recovery. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my fitness pal. I'm doing yoga. I'm mm-hmm. trying not to die. And honestly, that dick pill that I talked about gave me a headache. I was like, I, I can't die from dick pills. <laughs> my fitness pal was like, hey, we just noticed you should probably <laughs> keep logging dick pills uh, as lunch. <laughs> No, it's maybe 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 seventeen thousand calories a day is a, just a little bit too much. <laughs> uh, hmm. It would be funny if there was a way yeah. to just like you just put something in your body and it automatically tracks the calories. Mm-hmm. If I saw those readings, it would be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah just be funny, be like stressful. a pop up on Stop Swim for my fitness pal. It's like. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm on your side here. <laughs> We're trying to help you. <laughs> Gentle reminder, stop. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, listen. So I'm going to go fucking make some chicken breast and watch NBA scrimmages. They're on. Yeah. Oh. I got to go to Costco and re-up my... I'll buy those, I have like, to go, the, too. The, Actually, I might go with you. The bags of um, rotisserie, the pulled rotisserie chicken bags. You fuck with those? I don't really... They're great for like. Actually, Costco's are good. The ones in my, the ones at the key food by me are horrible. The bag of rotisserie, pulled rotisserie chicken. Oh, pulled? It's already yeah. off the thing. They take a rotisserie chicken, they pull all the fucking meat off of it, and then they bag it up and then Ooh, like vacuum like seal it. Yeah, I, th- oh, I buy like I buy like ten of those and I throw them in the freezer, thaw one out, and then I use it for like chicken burritos and shit. I like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, Very nice. It's the uh, the move arena. I fuck with that. Yeah. See, the key food by me had. I when I fr- I mean this was four years ago at this point. Yeah. But I had I took one of the rotisserie chickens and it was delicious, but it gave me wild shits yeah. and everyone in my apartment wild shits. I just haven't been back since. I think Costco has their own poultry farming operations. That's how many rotisserie chickens. I could they see sell. that. They sell like millions of rotisserie chickens. Here. The chicken's good. Yeah, five bucks. Not a bad deal. You know what? I got to try doing rotisserie in my... I have a fucking uh, convection oven that has a rotisserie. So yeah. Like, and now you have an Instapot, too. Uh, yeah. And a mandolin. Yeah, that's right. I got it all, baby. All right, <sighs> all right actually, folks. Yeah. Yeah. What should I eat for lunch? Maybe a little sushi. Sushi's not make a some look. Make some rice with That'd be some nice. raw fish. Mm-hmm. A little sa- sashimi. It's crazy. I didn't know until last year, if you buy raw fish at the grocery store, you could just eat it raw. You should get sushi grade fish. That doesn't mean anything. It just means does it's it been, not mean anything? It just means it's been frozen. I think. Really? Or like, yeah, they flash freeze it. That doesn't yeah. make sense, does it? Yeah, you just freeze. You can freeze any piece of fish for a week, or so I read on like fucking a wiki how or something. Yeah, yeah. How well, do, it would have to be high quality. I don't know. I wouldn't trust the, any piece of on, fish on the. Well, I've been doing it for years, and it's, okay. no, since I read that, I've just been eating raw fish and not worrying about it. Nice mm-hmm. respect on the wiki how to how to be Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Start saying thank you to people. That's right. That's number one. Yeah. Yes. Thank um, you. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for us. Thank you for listening. Come dot town for t-shirts. Stavi solves your problems. Go to Stavi solves your problems on Fridays and check it out on YouTube on Mondays. Mm-hmm. It'll be up on YouTube. That's right. Great, thank you. Adam. A great program. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. We'll be back on Sunday. Enjoy your lives, Adam. Do you want to press the button? Yes. This one. That's the one. Yeah, the one that says delete file. <laughs>